Maize farmers in Uganda continue to suffer losses due to pests and diseases that have devastated their fields. However, agricultural technologies like biotechnology that can provide solutions to maize diseases has not yet benefited the farmers in Uganda due to lack of a regulatory framework. Because maize for us in private sector we are there for the profit. So to us, if the biotechnology is going to bring in safe profits, we are all for it. But the only way we can say it is safe profit is if the government has, uh, has set up regulations and the researchers have abided to those regulations. And biotechnology, uh, we have been for many years trying to get a bill or an act of parliament uh, to be passed and therefore to develop regulations. All new technologies uh, that support uh, livelihoods and uh, human life require regulations, as the case is for gene technologies in crops, as the case is for gene technologies that will even be used for treating human diseases. So we are expecting that the government will now recognize the expanding value of gene, gene therapy and therefore provide appropriate law that will cover the applications across all those sectors. The Uganda loses several millions, billions in terms of diseases, of crops, in terms of East Coast fever in, in the cattle, occasioned by the ticks. But the science are telling you they have discovered, uh, they have invented or they have generated vaccines for, for ticks and tick vaccines. So we need a law to guide them on how they are going to test them and eventually they can be used by farmers. So crop diseases, animal diseases, human diseases cause a lot of losses, cause death not only of human beings but even of crops, even of animals and it's a big burden on the country. So science is needed to help address some of these challenges. Maize is one of the most important cereal crops in Uganda, providing over 40% of the calories consumed in both rural and urban areas. Small-scale farmers, who constitute 8% of rural population, also account for the largest share of maize production that is a source of livelihood, either directly or indirectly. However, maize production is constrained by drought, diseases and pests that cause loss of grain but also animal fodder. For instance, pests like stain borers contribute to significant yield losses. These maize diseases and pests have greatly affected farmers' incomes and food security. We invested a lot of money in the crop. At the end of the day, we have spent on the fertilizers, crop, I mean seeds and the plowing and everything. But now, where we have reached now, we are going to harvest nothing. Agricultural science, like the use of biotechnology, can provide solutions for instance, genetically modified maize with increased drought tolerance and resistance to stem borers. In Uganda, this research is being carried out in Kasese district by one of National Agricultural Research Institutes, NAR. Specifically, we are looking at materials which can withstand drought. So we are screening for drought resistance. At the same time, we are also screening for stem borer resistance. So this particular trial has two genes. One is for targeting drought resistance, and the second one is targeting stem borers. So it's called the stack, stack event. The gene is free-living. It is from bacillus. It's a free-living bacteria in the soil. If you touch any soil, you'll find that bacteria there. So what we did, we went in the laboratory, we got part of that gene from the bacteria, through the laboratory processes, we introduce it through the maize. So when you plant this maize seed, it will, that gene will be within the maize plant. And any stem borer attacking the maize plant, it will just die. So you don't need to spray. And once it is introduced in the maize plant, if it is put in the open pollinated varieties, you can even replant the seeds. If it is in the hybrids, of course hybrids you plant once. But what is important, that this gene gives protection to stem borers. So we're just appealing to the members of parliament if they can pass the bill or by technology, and then we are very these good technologies to our farmers. Agricultural scientists are now looking up to government to put in place a regulatory framework for the country to benefit from biotechnology solutions. Adia Nakuti and Sarah Natolo, UBC.